My name is Abdullah M. I. Sayed. I'm a visual artist and a designer. I was born and raised in Pakistan. I moved to America to study art, where I lived for nine years. In 2006, I moved to Australia to pursue a PhD in fine arts. Uh, since then, I've been living in Sydney. I like to make large things uh, using small, tiny uh, objects or tiny things. And it's actually because I lived a very itinerant life. And having, having that, that condition and uh, also our house was actually very small as well in a sense that we were seven brothers and sisters so there always is space limitation as well but later on when I actually moved to America to study I also had uh, a space issue but also I always find it very interesting is how to to protect my work how to preserve my work where to storage the storage was always an issue so in order to avoid that issue I thought that what if I will work um, on a large scale but using very small objects that I can make in my studio take it somewhere else and then put them together to create a larger object but the, this one is the same way is that, that I will I will have these chains or the rings and the rings are connected with each other and each one would actually form a layer so that's actually the first layer I conceived um, which is again in gold and bronze and then I thought that um, I will have the the second layer which is um, represent the water so the first one is basically sun and the earth and the second one is the water and I thought that it's quite interesting to to simply connect these dots together and then once that is formed then basically this cutout would be uh, you can see through the sun and then I thought that I want to I want to layer it um, with 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 land and I thought that it would be interesting for me to use um, red color because the red is also the horizon line as well um, when the sun um, is rising but at the same time there is also it's a dusk it's a, it's a color of dusk you know when the night and the day actually meets and I thought it would be quite interesting to divide them um, in that way and then the top layer is again the blue moon um, which is actually, uh, interestingly, it's actually a cutout from here that is being inverted. So this was the starting point um, and at the same time I was looking at different materials and as I mentioned the earlier ideas of chain, you know, chain me, chain me not project or the, rub or, or the earlier idea of the rubber band project. Um, I thought that there was a, there was a it's very strong connection. Um, but what material to use and at that time um, again um, the idea of the safety pin and the paper clips come in play and I thought that if, if there is a material, similar material that I can use um, and, and then um, I encountered this called alpha mesh or, or the chain mesh. This beautiful chain mesh is allowing me to create these beautiful layers and then the colors themselves although they are singular but then when they overlap on top of each other they actually create another visual um, dialogue that I feel that would be quite interesting. And also, just from the from the front, when you're looking looking at it from the front, you can see each layers merging with each other. But as you move uh, around it, it actually create quite a beautiful profile because it's constantly changing. It will change based on where where you are standing. And I feel that the people who are working there, um, uh, for them. If the work can change, uh, if they can recognize a change, uh, uh, then then that will be quite interesting for them. So so work is never static; it's constantly moving because of the light and the position where you are standing.